In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Margaret Mary uh, Alacoque. She was the one who, to whom the uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus appeared. Let us ask the intercession of St. Mary Margaret that uh, we too may also strive to be like the heart of Jesus, a heart that is kind, merciful, compassionate. We ask also the intercession of Birhen ng Barangay, the image in front of, the, of us here at the sanctuary. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out on us, we pray, O Lord, the Spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, and be utterly filled with your fullness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are obvious, immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you as I warned you before, that those who such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. 
For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. This you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I read somewhere, Kung hindi ka itinatama, may hindi tama. This is a play of words. Word, tama. In English, it is loosely translated as, If you are not corrected, something is wrong. Kung hindi ka itinatama, may hindi tama. For the past several days, the Gospel shows stories of Jesus saying strong words against the Pharisees, like what we heard this morning. Woe to you! Sawim palad kayo, mga skriba at mga pariseyo. Sawim palad kayo, mga bulaang propeta, mga ipokrito. Those are strong words. Kaya nga dito sa latter part of the gospel, a scholar no, of the law said to him, Teacher, by saying that, you are insulting us too. So binalingan siya ni Jesus. And he said, Woe to you also, scholars of the law. Why is Jesus, uh, why, why does Jesus seem to be angry? at Pharisees. I don't think he, is, he was angry because uh, I cannot imagine no, no, uh, Jesus um, kind, kind of keeping hatred in his heart. Parang impossible. But what is, what is the reason why Jesus is doing so, saying those things? Because he wants them to change because he wants to bring the best bring out the best in them you are capable of more than that do not be hypocrite be sincere be trustworthy be faithful to your words yun ang gusto niyang mangyari kaya sila pinagsasalitaan ng mga mabibigat at masasakit na salita 
hindi dahil sa may galit siya sa kanila, kundi gusto niyang iwasto nila ang kanilang maling pamumuhay. You see, sometimes strong words are also signs of strong love. Kaya, huwag tayong uh, masasaktan, huwag tayong sasama ang loob kapag nasa, napagsasabihan tayo. Kasi ganyan tayo kumisan eh, tayo, especially tayo mga Pilipino, yung amor propio, no? Hindi ka mo kasi ibang kultura, uh, Western culture for example, they can say things as they are and no one gets offended. But sometimes we Asians in particular, no, we are offended when we are corrected. Pag napagsasabihan, sumasama ang loob. Hindi. Kapag tayo'y napagsasabihan, isipin natin ito'y para sa ating kapakanan. Sabi nga eh, pinupokpok mo ang sipit ng alimango, hindi dahil sa galit ka sa alimango, kundi dahil sa gusto mong makuha ang masarap na laman sa loob nito. Many times, people care and that's the reason why they correct us because they care. Jesus said those strong words not because He hated the scribes and Pharisees but He wanted to bring out the best in them. Tandaan natin, kung hindi ka itinatama, may hindi tama. Amen. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, we confidently bring our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. To every petition, a response would be, Lord of our hearts, pay attention to our hearts. Lord of our hearts, pay attention to our hearts. That the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice by her ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of our, our hearts, hearts pay, pay attention, attention to our, our hearts. hearts. That government officials may be sincere in their effort to provide services and programs for the poor and the destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of our hearts, pay attention to our hearts. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of our hearts, pay attention to our hearts. That the sick and the disabled may find support and assurance from their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of our hearts, pay attention to our hearts. That those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness <coughs> in the company of the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of our hearts, pay attention to our hearts. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generosity and sincerity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Ma Margaret Mary, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, including Margaret Mary, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Margaret Mary Alacoque, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, it's Wednesday again, and uh, we would like to invite you to join us in this evening's Wednesday Family Rosary at 9 p.m. via our Facebook page, Manila Cathedral. The hosts of our evening prayer a rosary will be the community of St. Andrew the Apostle Parish uh, in Bel Air, Makati. That will be at 9 p.m. via our Facebook page, the Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.